Okay, we are back at Epcot Food and Wine. This will be our second visit during Food and Wine 2023. Yeah, so we kind of have a plan today. So I think we're going to hit at least two of the items at the Japanese uh, Pavilion. Mm -hmm. And then we may head on over to the American because Andy wants to get that sandwich hot cheese sandwich. Yeah, with the peppers. Yeah, so we have a little bit of a plan today. So come along with us and check it out. Subscribe, uh, hit like if you like this sort of content and definitely hit the bell so you'll get notifications. Yeah, leave a comment. Yep. And I am not short, I am taking a break. On <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it is uh, 6 12 p.m. That's our arrival time on a Wednesday. We'll see if you can get a Guardians for the heck of it. And there is Spaceship Earth. Okay, so crazy thing, first time ever when we have uh, went in the park and tried to join Virtual Queue, there's actually a spot. It does say boarding group 167, but we're in a boarding group. But if it takes hours, not a big deal, because... 167. <laughs> we like to get out before the oh. fireworks show. We'll get this. It's already on 135 to 153. So in Connections, they actually have two food and wine festival offerings. So here, I'll show them right here. Remy Waffle and Yucatan Sunset Margarita. And if you hear it, they're playing our song. Epidemic Sound. And they play it here at Disney. We always love when the song comes on because we use it a lot. All right, there it is. Remy and Liege Waffle, it's called. It's like a little white chocolate and a little waffle. And then we have our sunset margarita. All right, Andrew's going in. I was told no syrup was needed. <laughs> good. It's good. I think it, there's a couple flavors happening. I'm not sure, 100% sure. Cinnamon. Um, I think there's like a vanilla y type of flavor to it too. But I don't know, I, it's good, I like it. It's the liege flavor, whatever that is. Liege. I'm not sure what liege waffle is. Yeah, All right, I'll give it a try here. You could try this. Go ahead, try the margarita. But yeah, that's, I, that reminds me of something and I can't put my finger on it. Tastes margarita ish, but. A little sun city. Yeah, I don't know if there's orange juice in there or what is making it that color. All right, so our first two items, we thought we'd start with dessert today. It is good. I'm uh, just not sure what the flavors are either. It's like a, almost like a cold toaster strudel. <laughs> yeah, but really it's know. definitely got some like vanilla-y flavor to it. And then I think it is like a subtle cinnamon sugar. But no, it's good. It's almost like those pre-packaged small little waffles that you get at, what's it, Costco? It's almost like that, where you just have to pop it in the microwave like 30 seconds, but right, yeah. Well, there you go. Bad. Hand off. So we'll have to see what else they have if we would recommend those. I'm on the fence. So we have this drink. We have a drink right here, but let us know if you've ever seen this kind of wait time. 20 minutes. And we usually skip building the car, so that cuts about 10 minutes off of it. So that's probably like a, almost a walk up. I'm almost tempted to tuck our drink under a plant and just hop on it and get <laughs> and right back And then come back out. for the drink. Uh, well. I'm it's, guessing it's gonna be low later on so maybe we'll do guardians and test track at the same time yeah right we'll check it later on flavors of america we have all things not american <laughs> no no we have italian hot beef sandwich and i think uh andrew's gonna try chiquiquilis that looks good andrew's doing a fine job Didn't spill a thing. So, 
Chilaquiles, I like the name of that. All right, we have one fork to go with that. Chilaquiles. Oh, it's an egg on top. All right, and then we have a beer flight. And these look good, and one was an amber. I like ambers. There's the three beers. Oh, Chicago, Ashland, Oregon, Long Mountain, Colorado. And then we have the beef sandwich, hot beef. Looks like a little au jus. All right, hot beef sandwich. I'm gonna try to get a little of the au jus. Ooh, here we go. Oh, it's got some spice to it. The peppers, maybe jalapeno. That's why I call hot, that's why it's called hot beef, but yeah, no, no fat on the beef, so. That's the winner, good one. Trying the beer flight, we have a hoppy one. Very, very hoppy, that's this middle one. I guess it's the one from Chicago. Neon beer mug, ooh. Ah, yeah, I don't know about that one, that's Andrea's. What? <laughs> this one's nice, nice and light. I think Andrea will like that. Almost like a Bud Light, but now that I've tried that, I can't taste anything but that. And we have a nice color amber. I think I knew from the color that I would like it. So yeah, these two are good. Not so much hobby. Oh, it's not as runny as we thought. All no, right. I was expecting it to like go oh, all over the place. So the chips are, things are kind of soggy. I was not prepared for that. So that's a big bite. Almost looks like like a soft enchilada shell instead of chips. It's interesting. We've never had anything like this. Well, I thought it was gonna be weird, but all the flavors have good taste. I didn't taste any of the egg though, but there's a lot going on. In here? Is that like a beef or uh, a chicken? It kind of looks like a beef. Yeah, it's yeah. a beef. All right, I'm not big on beef, but that's good flavor. I like that. So other than like the kind of soggy, mushy chip, if you get past that, everything else should be fine. But the meat's got good flavor. This is like a little tangy sauce and then i think you got some feta and then of course the egg so oh, i'm gonna have to try that i think it's pretty good and i love the name of this chilaquiles, chilaquiles. and i think i'm saying it right yep chilaquiles but i have never had such a thing all right let me try to go in for a little bite oh yeah I've never had anything like this before, but it's like a bowl of enchiladas. Yeah, so this would definitely be 10 out awesome. of 10. Awesome. That is amazing. And it's at the American Pool. <laughs> yeah, and it says Taste of America. <laughs> I don't think that is, but that is amazing. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> Very happy, bitter. That's a little better, but still kind of in the bad realm. I'm not a beer drinker though, so do not go by my ratings. Yeah, all no go. It may not look the most appealing, but this is one of the best things I've ever tasted here at Epcot. It is like, holy cow. Enchilada in a bowl and then some. Yeah. It's got egg and it's got more than enchilada. That's amazing. Chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. Number one item so far. It's a little update. This one's not to be uh, like glossed over either. The hot beef sandwich, it's gone. That was good. We just couldn't finish this, getting slightly full and want to save room for a sushi roll. Yeah, it's a lot of chips. But 
One of the best items we've tried at the festival. It's just a lot of food. Yeah. And a little correction, I said it, it tasted like feta, but I think there was some creme fresh, but then it was mostly the white of the egg. Oh yeah, egg whites and the egg yolk. Which we took care of. Alright, <laughs> good items. Okay, we're going to try the top two. We think teriyaki chicken bun and fire ty taiko roll. Moon on the water sake. Holy moly. Hmm. So we have a fire taiko, taiko roll. T-A-I-K-O. Uh, I think it's spicy, so we'll see what that's like. And then we have teriyaki chicken bun filled with chicken, vegetables, teriyaki sauce. And finally, we have a sake passion cocktail so that looks good too so this where to begin is spicy tuna but when i'm reading in the book that it also it served the spicy sauce so this double. may be the double spicy because i like spicy tuna oh, we'll right. give it a go let's see what we got here oh yeah just dramatic effect Ooh. okay here we go It's really good. You'll like it. So, how is the spice? It's not bad at all. Not bad? No. So, it's probably mainly the sauce that... I don't even think it's that. Mm. So, I thought I saw someone... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's fine. It makes it easier. That'd be your half. Looks like sweet potato in there. So we get one and a half, so I just put it in Oh, well, in there half. you go. There you go. <laughs> but I saw someone trying it next to us, and they were, like, fanning their mouth. But I think, let me see it. Let me but just see one of I don't think it's them. hot. Let me just see one of these. I'm going to just try this. Okay. I don't taste anything. So the person fanning, I don't know what they yeah, were fanning Yeah, it's not about. that hot. All right, so the rest of that's mine, then that's yours. Mm -hmm. On, like, and a scale one. of, like like a whole sweet potato. One to five for hot. I can go up to like two and a half. And if that person was fanning, they must be at like a point one <laughs> because, I or point five, because I don't taste anything. Now the sauce is spicy. -er. Very good. Right? The sauce, if I you put the so. sauce on to a delicate one like me, <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Here, cleanse your palate with that. That's pretty good. Cheersing <laughs> the Epcot gods. <laughs> that's good. Oh. Yeah, very nice. All right, two for two in Japan, and this is a really good roll. And it's only three pieces, so easy to take care of. I'm gonna cut into the, looks like a bow bun. Chicken teriyaki. Let's cut that in half. Oh, okay. it looks lovely on the inside. It looks like it's evenly dispersed. Wait, hold on. Chicken teriyaki. Bun. Cheers. A bow bone cheer. That's good. Normally not huge on bow buns. Well, usually the bow buns are not cooked all the way through. They're almost like real doughy, but they are. this. It's not. But, and this filling has good flavor on top of it. So, yeah, not good. bad. So, I would go two for two. No, three for three. Oh, yeah, the drink too. And this is like perfect to wash down the food. Perfect. But in the meantime, a lot of the rides we've seen have low wait times. So, Remy's was 35, Test Track was 15. And Frozen was 35, so we already have our Guardians. And then most everything else was five. Yeah, so really good wait time. So right yeah, now. maybe we'll try for a Remy's if it's still 35. I've only been on that twice. With the exception of the first couple things we tried, the waffle and that margarita, I recommend everything else. Okay, here's one of the spots where you get the craziest views right here. Look at that. All right, still says 20 minutes. We're in. It's been a little while.
Andy is running Guardians. I'm going to Club Cool. So I hit a little bit of the Beverly and I tried a little bit of the watermelon and today none of them tasted good to me and I usually like both. So let's check in and see how Andy's doing on Guardians. These were on the floor. I did not lose them. Hard to believe. Whew. Glad I looked down. There she is. All right, well, that wraps up today's food and wine. We tried three new places. Yes. As my wife, give us a like for the video. We did try three new things and they were good. Uh, the food is definitely solid in America this year. Beef sandwich, the uh, nachos, they were so good. Yep, so I hope you liked Andy's adventure and my little adventure. So uh, see you next time. Yep, see ya, bye. bye.